Hey YouTube, welcome back to Homestead on the Hill, and in this video we're going to move the goat fence today, and probably move it over beside the goat area over there, um, and then, but before that, we just got Jack on all the animals. Now for anybody that has chicken coops that are somewhat like ours, um, a ventilation system that we found is pretty helpful because inside here, um, as you can see, we have one vent up here, another vent right there, but it, they don't really work. Um, I think it's just there to show. Blowing air in and then just a window open uh, will allow airflow because before it was just getting really hard to close that door. Before it was just getting really muggy and dusty in there. some water uh, now I did notice yesterday they need some food and we are going to get that too got the food and water right there and now we actually gotta move them which I don't think I showed you guys how I move these turkeys. Just me moving them yet. Dump the water out. thing about turkeys is uh, I can just like go up and just pet this one but other than that turkeys are actually doing pretty good okay so the turkeys are behind me but actually when I said in the first video behind me is this this area is normally where we put the goats here and the uh, coming fall and winter yeah. they got all this different grass and brush to clear out and I'm actually probably just gonna extend it to this whole area we have a trail kind of running back through here to that section of wood section of woods right there but probably just gonna make this whole area a uh, their pen and they have some really nice grass too hopefully it doesn't rain on me clouds are looking pretty pretty gray so right now I'm gonna go get the fence from the bottom area which it's still set up so it's gonna take me a little bit but I'm gonna get that fence um, then bundle it up. Okay, got the nets in the back of the ranger. There's no really way that I found to perfectly transport these so that they're not going to get tangled up. So we're going to just take them up there. Okay, got them both here. Um, I did roll the third one up in the back. If we don't need it, I'm just going to take it up to the barn and set it in the attic. But if we do need it, then I'm going to try to have to <laughs> unroll it. Yeah, now I just got to get the mower. Um, 
clear straight path for the fence to go in because if not, it's going to touch all this tall grass right here and the electric is not going to work. It's just going to get grounded out the whole time. So, Okay, it's just starting to rain, but I did manage, I did manage to uh, set it all up. So I got it all up and now I'm just looking for a hammer to hammer the stakes in. Found it. So. Yep, the goo fence is all set up. Uh, the electric is not. I still gotta get the electric, but... So yeah, basically just goes along all the way to the back. It's just enough to last them um, a good while, so... Pallets that... I have spare pallets over there and some bad pallets right there, but... Yeah, and then there's just brush pile and sticks and stuff in there. But, yeah, really nice grass and everything for them to eat, so... So I actually came a little tight on this side, so I had to bring this in. Um, but here's where I mowed, right here, so this is all kind of uh, big grass. For now, I'm just going to put one of these stakes in here and hopefully it'll hold it out. Okay, there it is, and it just holds it out a little bit away and takes the stress off of the netting, so... Now I'm going to put one over on that corner, as you can see it's kind of bending. I might put one on that one too, but uh, I'm going to hammer in more of these posts and then, yeah, should be able to put the goats in if it doesn't rain. Here's their feed bowl. Hopefully it lands. Yep. Come on, goat. Come on, Rocky. Turkeys. There's their area. Come on, goat. Come this way. Alright. Okay, that's all for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.